Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to knit a very easy and beautiful half the top. For this video tutorial, I will show you in size small. And I also have free written pattern for size extra small to double XL. It's available on my blog. I will put the link in the description below. Please go check that out. And I hope you enjoy. Okay, this is gonna be the material that you will need for this project. Okay, so first of all, I want to say thank you to my friend, Chi. She sent me a lot of yarn <laughs> and this is one of them. So this is knit collage and I always love to try knit collage yarn, but they're not cheap. They're not that expensive either, but yeah. Anyway, so this is my first time using knit collage and I love it. Thanks again, my friend. <laughs> and I used two skin of this yarn, but I don't use the whole two skin. I just have a little bit left. So this knit collage and it is 215 gram, 100 yards and 92 meter per inch skin and 100% wool. And this is size 5 bulky. And if you want to make your half the top to turn out like mine, I recommend use the same yarn that I use because it has a thick part and thin part, <laughs> you know. And yeah, or whatever brand you use, make sure that it's similar to this yarn. Okay, otherwise it's going to turn out different. And knitting needle. I use circular knitting needle, 24 inches, and it is size US 13, 9 millimeters. So we will work flat back and forth. We're not gonna work in round, but I use circular needle because we're gonna carry a lot of stitches. Okay, and I always like to be safe, so. <laughs> Scissors, yarn needle. And please go check in the description below for more details. And I will put all the details, all the link where you can get uh, materials and also where you can get a free written pattern for extra small to double XL. Okay. Before we start, I just want to talk about the pattern a little bit. So in this pattern, we're going to make the front and the back panel exactly the same. Okay whatever you choose to be the front or the back panel, doesn't matter, both the same. And we will cast on, okay? And then I work six row of one by one rib, and then after that, I knit on the right side, pull on the wrong side. Repeat that till I reach this part, okay? So now, if you want your half the top to be longer, you can add more rows than I show you in this tutorial okay and you will reach this part and after that we will separate the left side and the right side okay so when we work on the left side we will hold all the stitches on the right side like this it will look like this okay and we will uh, just focus on the left side first and work on the left side and then cast on uh, sorry uh, and then buy off and after that, we will come back and make the right side exactly the same pattern that we make on the left side, exactly the same. We will add new yarn and do the same pattern on the left side. It will look like this. Okay, this is just some idea and I will go slowly and I will explain everything as I go. Okay, I want to, I'm going to make sure that you get it. All right, and after we have two panels, we're going to put them like this and we will sew on the shoulder and then on the side. All right. And the measurement from here to here is uh, 16 inches and it has on 38 stitches. So I have uh, 16 inches width and then the length from here all the way down here 
is almost 14 inches. It's about 13.45. Yeah, just let's say almost 14 inches from here to here. All right. If you want longer, like I said, you add more rows at this part before we separate the left and the right. And yeah, I hope it makes sense. And like I said, this is just some idea. I will go slowly. Make sure you guys understand. Okay, and yeah, let's get started. Okay, I already wire my yarn here. And then first, we're going to cast on. Okay, I'm going to use long tail cast on. You can use any method you like, but if you don't know how to make a long tail cast on, I will put the link in the description below. I have video tutorial for that. All right, and make sure I have enough tail to make a long tail cast on here. And then I'm going to make slip knot. The slip knot on the needle right now is count as one stitch, okay? And then I'm going to cast on 38 stitches, includes this one. So, this is the first stitch. Okay, so this one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm gonna keep casting on till I have 38 stitches and then I will meet you guys back in. Okay, now I have 38 stitches on my needle and then next we're gonna turn this side and then row one. We're gonna make a one by one rib, okay, which is need one per one and repeat that across. So, I just like to hold my my yarn on the left hand. So anyway, I'm gonna knit one and then purl. Bring the yarn to the front and purl. Okay, and then just repeat that. Knit one and then purl one. Okay, and then knit one and purl one. Knit one and purl one. Okay, I'm just gonna hold the yarn this side now <laughs> just to show you guys. So, next, I'm gonna knit, right? Wrap the yarn like so, and then purl, bring the yarn to the front, insert my needle, wrap the yarn. And then purl. All right, it's the same. So I'm just gonna keep repeating knit one per one till the end of row one. Okay, and I will meet you guys back in. Now I have two stitches left on the end. I'm just gonna uh, keep repeating the same thing, but I just wanna show you guys. So this one I purl. So next one I knit, and then purl the last stitch. Okay, this was look like, and then row two, we turn, and just repeat row one. Just knit one per one, knit one per one. So for row two to row six, we're gonna repeat row one, which is one by one rib, knit one per one. Okay, so row two, I knit, and then purl, knit, and purl. See, same pattern, knit and purl. All right, like I said, row two to row six, repeat row one, which is knit one per one. And keep uh, making that, and I will meet you guys back in when I reach the end of row six. Okay, now I'm at the end of row six. Okay, and then row seven, return. And then row seven gonna be the right side. So the odd number rows is the right side. The even row is the wrong side. So row seven, right side, we're gonna knit all the stitches. So just knit. Okay, just knit. 
just need all the stitches okay and then I will meet you guys back in when you reach the end of row 7 okay I have two stitches left on row 7 I just gonna need the last two stitches okay and now row 8 we're gonna turn row 8 gonna be the wrong side because it's an even number okay so for the wrong side we're gonna pull so yarn in front okay and then just pull just pull all the stitches I'm gonna show you on this way. So yarn in front to the needle, wrap the yarn around the right hook. I uh, sorry, the right needle. Okay, like this. I don't comfortable this way. <laughs> like so, okay. Keep pulling every stitches till you reach the end of row 8 and I will meet you guys back in okay now I have two stitches left I'm just gonna pull the last two stitches exactly the same okay and this is the end of row 8 and then I turn so row 9 to row 20 we're gonna repeat row 7 and 8 okay so basically, you're gonna knit the right side and pull the wrong side. Okay, the right side is an arc number row, and the wrong side an even number row. Okay, and if you want, let me show you something real quick. So here, so now we around here. Okay, so we're gonna keep repeating row seven and eight till we have 20 rows gonna be around here right okay and now if you want your uh, half the top to be longer you uh, can add more rows okay more than 20 rows so for me I make 20 rows and then after that we're gonna separate the left side and the right side and then we will decrease okay and yeah I'm gonna keep repeating row 7 and 8 till I have 20 rows and I will reach around here all right and again if you want longer feel free to add more rows as much as you like and then after that we will separate the left side and the right side all right and I will meet you guys back in when I reach the end of row 20 Okay, now I have 20 rows here, and this is the end of row 20. And like I said, if you want longer half the top, you keep repeating more rows before we separate the left side and the right side. Okay, so now I'm right here. You can see right here. That's what I have right now. And then next, we're gonna make um, the left side first left side when when you wear it okay so this is my left side so for row 21 we're gonna turn and now we're gonna separate this in half because we're gonna make the left side and the right side like this picture uh, like this <laughs> paper sorry we're gonna separate evenly so I have 38 stitches so uh, divided by 2 so I have 19 on each side okay so we will work the left side first row 21 I gonna SSK which is slip slip and knit so you gonna insert your needle into this stitch slip the first stitch knit wise 
like so. Okay, and then we're gonna slip the next stitch exactly the same, knit wise. Like this and slip. Okay, now you have two stitches on your right uh, knitting needle. And then we're gonna knit those two stitches by insert the left knitting needle back into those two stitches that on the right knitting needle, like so. Okay, two stitches, and then we're gonna knit those stitches. So just knit. This is SSK. So see, we uh, decrease uh, one stitch. Alright, and then I'm gonna knit the next 15 stitches. So, so include this one gonna be 16, okay? Just knit, okay? Okay, now after I knit the next 15 stitches and include the first stitch here, I have 16 stitches. Okay, and then I'm gonna knit next two stitches together. Okay, so I'm just gonna insert my right knitting needle into those two stitches and knit them together. So just insert this one and then this one. Like so, and then knit two together. All right, and then now I have seventeen stitches. So now I'm right here, and we're just gonna hold all the stitches on the right side. Just hold that on the needle. Okay, we're not gonna knit anything yet. We're just gonna uh, make the left side first. So um, at the end, I will say the end of row 21 on the left side. I will say that, okay? I have 17 stitches because I decreased two stitches. Remember when we first knit, we SSK and we decreased one stitch. And when we here, we need two stitches together, and that means we uh, decrease one stitch. So, row 21 on the left side, we decrease two stitches. Alright, and now I have 17, and now I'm just gonna turn. Okay, so ignore this uh, stitches on the, this side. Okay, we're not gonna work in that yet. We're gonna come back to work on these stitches when we at the end here, when we buy off and um, cut the yarn on the left side and then we will come back on the right side. All right, and now row 22 of the left side, we turn. And then we're just gonna pull our stitches. Not increase or decrease. If you want, you can place the marker here as well, so you know you're not gonna touch that stitches. Okay, but for me, I can see, so I'm just gonna pull. Oops, sorry. Stitch as well. Okay. 
That's what it look like. The end of row 22 for the left side. As you can see here, this stitch is kind of separated, right? As you can see. All right, now for row 23, left side, we turn. Okay, we just gonna decrease on the right side. Okay, not every rows, almost every rows. Just when we come to this part, we gonna make straight line. Okay, so row 23, do that again, SSK. Slip, slip, knit. So slip, slip, and knit. Okay. Do exactly the same. And then we're going to knit into the next 13 stitches. Include this stitch. It'll be 14. Okay. Just going to knit. Okay, now I need the next 13 stitches. So include the first stitch. I have 14 stitches on my right uh, knitting needle. And then I have two stitches left here. And then we're going to knit two stitches together. So knit two together. All right. The end of row 23, I have 15 stitches. I think you start to see here. You start to go this way. Okay. And for the wrong side, we always gonna pull every stitch, just not increase or not decrease. Okay. And on the right side, on the first stitch, our first two stitches, we always make a slip slip knit. And then for the last two stitches, we always gonna knit two together but not every rows almost every rows okay and now row 24 we're gonna turn just ignore this stitches we turn and then we just gonna pull our stitches At the end of row 24, I have the same 15 stitches. And now row 25, we turn and we're gonna decrease again by making SSK and then knit till you have two stitches left and then we're gonna knit those two stitches together. See, when we start, we make a SSK. It's uh, decrease this way. Let's go this way. And then when I need, uh, when we need two stitches together, it's decrease going this way. Okay. So row twenty five, like I said, decrease row. So S S K. So slip, slip and knit. Oops, and then you can knit next 11 stitches. Include the first one, you will have 12 stitches. So just knit.
okay I need the next 11 stitches includes the first stitch I have 12 stitches on my right knitting needle here and then we have two stitches left here we're gonna knit those two stitches together all right and then the end of row 25 I have 13 stitches and now row 26 we turn and then we're just gonna pull all stitches Okay, I'm at the end of row 26. I have the same 13 stitches and then 27. Oops. We turn and we're gonna decrease again. SSK and then knit till you have two stitches left and then knit two the last two stitches together. So slip, slip, and knit. This is it SK and then knit the next nine stitches. Okay, now I knit the next nine stitches, includes the first stitch that I have. I have 10 stitches on my right knitting needle and then I have two stitches left I'm gonna knit those two stitches together all right the end of row 27 I have uh, 11 stitches and then 28 turn and then I'm gonna pull all stitches Okay, 28, I have the same, 11 stitches, and then 29, turn, and then decrease again. SSK, knit till, the, knit till you have two stitches left, and then knit the last two stitches together. So now row 29. Yes, row 29, <laughs> sorry. Slip, slip, and knit. And then knit the next seven stitches. Okay, now I knit the next seven stitches, includes the first stitch that I SSK. Um, I have eight stitches here. And then I have two stitches left on my left knitting needle. I'm gonna knit those two stitches together. This one, this one. All right, the end of row 29, I have nine stitches. And then row 30, we turn, and then I'm gonna pull all stitches. Pretty easy, right? <laughs> and row 30, I have the same nine stitches. And row 31, I turn and then decrease again. SSK, and then knit till you have two stitches left and then knit those two stitches together. So slip, slip, knit, slip the first one, slip the second one, and knit. And then knit the next five stitches. Okay, and then knit uh, five stitches 
includes the first stitch. I have six stitches on my right knitting needle and I have two stitches left on my left knitting needle and I'm gonna knit those two stitches together. And the end of row 31, I have seven stitches. Row 32, we turn and we will pull all the stitches. Just pulling. And the end of row 32, I have the same seven stitches. In row 33, we turn and again decrease. SSK, knit two, you have two stitches left, and then knit those two together. So slip, slip, and knit. And knit uh, next three stitches. And after I knit the uh, next three stitches, includes the first stitch. I have four stitches on my right knitting needle, and I have two stitches left on my left knitting needle, and I'm gonna knit those two stitches together. Okay, row at uh, the end of row 33, I have five stitches, and row 34, turn, and then we're gonna pull or stitches. Okay, now I'm not gonna uh, decrease anymore. So I just gonna, so for row 35, I'm gonna knit all, not uh, decrease. Just knit every stitches. Okay, and I still have five stitches the same because I'm not decreased. And then row 36, we turn and then we're gonna pull or have the same five stitches. And row 37, we turn, we're gonna buy off. If you want this to be uh, longer, you keep making more rows, this part. If you want to keep going to make uh, this uh, v-neck lower, you keep making more rows, <laughs> okay? And for me, for, uh, for me, row 37, I'm going to buy off. I think it's a good size for me. So, buy off, going to knit first two stitches. Okay, and then pass the first stitch over the second stitch by using the left knitting needle to pick that up and pass it over. Okay, and then knit the next stitch and then pass um, the second stitch. I will call this uh, the inside stitch. Okay, <laughs> pass it over. Do the same technique. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do that. And then I'm just gonna knit and then pass this stitch over the outside stitch. Like so, and then knit the last stitch. Pass this one over. And yeah! And now we're gonna cut the yarn. Oops. My, my needle just slide off. <laughs> okay. So I just gonna leave a little bit of tail, just enough to sew this uh, shoulder part. So I'm just gonna cut right here. I think it's enough. Then pull the yarn out. Yeah, that's what it look like. See, now we finished this side. This side we haven't done yet. It's, that's what it look like so far on here. Okay, and next we're gonna come back and make the right side exactly the same what we make on this side. But I show you a couple rows. 
See, this yarn still on the knitting needle because we don't touch them. <laughs> All right. And then on the right side, we can do exactly the same that we did on the left side, which is row 21. We can uh, SSK and then knit till you have two stitches left and then knit those two stitches together. Exactly the same. So, but now we don't have the yarn to work on. We have to bring a new yarn, right? So we slip the first stitch and then slip the second stitch. Okay? And then now we're gonna uh, bring the left knitting needle, go through those two stitches and then knit. Bring the new yarn and I'm just gonna hold it like this. Whatever you prefer, whatever you comfortable with, this is what I comfortable with. I just like to hold a new yarn like this. Just attach right here and then grab the needle around those yarn and then pull it out. There you go. And then I will weave those in later. Weave the end later. Now we uh, already slip slip knit, right? And then we're gonna knit till we have two stitches left at the end. Knit. Oops. Okay, now I have two stitches left. I'm gonna need those two stitches together. See the same pattern. All right, the end of row 21, I have 17 stitches because we decrease one stitch on each side. So one row, we um, decrease two stitches. So now row 22, we turn and then we're just going to pull back all the stitches, not increase, not decrease. Just pull. The end of row 22, I have the same 17 stitches. Row 23, we turn and then we're gonna decrease again. SSK and then knit till you have two stitches left and then knit last two stitches together. It's the same pattern, guys. <laughs> but I'll show you one more time. So SSK, slip, slip, knit. So slip the first stitch, slip the second stitch, and then knit those two stitches. Oops. Okay. And then knit till you have two stitches left. So now I have two stitches left. I'm gonna knit those two stitches together. All right. The end of row 23, I have 15 stitches. See, it's very easy, right? So now you just keep repeating exactly the same when you did for the left side. For row 24, you're gonna pull all stitches. And row 25, uh, decrease row, which is SSK, knit till you have two stitches left and then knit those two stitches together. Exactly the same pattern when you did for the left side. But if you're not sure, you always go back to watch the video when I show you how to make the left side. We're gonna do exactly the same on the right side, okay? Everything the same. So for me, 
I buy off at row 37. Okay, so on the right side, I'm gonna buy off the same at row 37. But whatever row you buy off, you're gonna buy off the same amount of rows. Okay, and yeah, good luck, and I will meet you guys back in when I uh, reach the end of row 36, and then row 37 buy off, I'm gonna buy off with you again. Okay, I'm at the end of row 36 here. And then, like I said, I'm going to buy off with you guys one more time. <laughs> so, I'm going to turn. This is going to be row 37. We buy it off. Okay. So, we're going to knit the first two stitches. So, knit, knit. And then pass the first stitch over the second stitch. Use the left knitting needle. Pick that one up and pass it over. And repeat that with next stitch. So we're gonna knit next stitch and then pass this stitch over this stitch. Using the left knitting needle, pick that stitch up like so and then knit next stitch. Pass this stitch over this stitch. Using the left knitting needle to pick that up like so and then knit the last stitch and pass this stitch over this stitch. Like so, and then now we're gonna cut the yarn and leave a little bit of tail just enough to sew the shoulder part. So I cut it right here, and then I'm just gonna pull the yarn out. Yay, we're done with one panel. It's very fun, right? <laughs> Yay, that's it for the panel. All right, and you're gonna make another panel exactly the same, but you don't have to leave uh, that much tail because we just need one side of tail just to sew the shoulder part together, right? So we already have these two tails. So the other panel don't need to leave a long tail. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and make the other panel and then I will be back and we will sew uh, the half the top together. Okay, after I have two panels, that's what it looks like and then next we're gonna sew the shoulder seam here together and then the side of the half the top together. Okay, but uh, before we sew, uh, I want you to make sure you put the right side facing each other. Okay, we're gonna sew on the wrong side. I show you on the paper real quick here. So this the back panel. Whatever you wanna shoot to the back, uh, to be the back or to be the front panel, both the same. So this is my back panel. This is my front panel. I put them like this, and we will sew on the shoulder here, and then we will sew on the side here. All right, let's get started. And I already have my yarn needle here. I'm gonna use my yarn needle for sewing. See, this is the tail that we left earlier in one panel. See the other panel? I just cut pretty short. <laughs> and yeah, use any method you like. I'm just gonna sew back and forth. So I'm just gonna insert here. Nothing fancy for me. I just gonna sew into the first stitch one more time just to make sure it's tight and then insert into next stitch here and next stitch there next stitch here and then next stitch there next stitch here and then next stitch there and then go into this very last stitch here Right there. Okay, this is how I sew mine. Pretty easy. And you can tell anyway because this yarn is kind of, kind of bulky and kind of little crazy. So you you can't tell. You can't see. So I'm just gonna tie this those tail together and then weave the end. Pretty easy. Insert back and then I 
I trim the tail. I also gonna weave this in also, okay? And yeah, you're gonna sew this side exactly the same, whatever method you use, and then I will be back and then we will sew on the side together. Okay, after I sew this shoulder here, shoulder seam here, and next we're gonna sew the side, okay? And then I'm just gonna turn this way <laughs> so you guys can see. So you need to cut a new strand of yarn, just enough to sew the side here. See, this is the bottom. We're gonna sew all the way up till we reach where we start to decrease, which is right here. Let me show you in the paper again. So we will sew this bottom here all the way up until we reach where we start uh, decrease, okay? Again, I sew on the wrong side. So my right side of the half the top facing each other right now. So this is my new strand of yarn. I cut about 20 inches. So I insert into the very first stitch at the bottom here of the front panel and then go into the back panel. Oops. I'm just gonna go back and forth normal. And then go to the next stitch here and then next stitch there. And next stitch here, next stitch there. See, this is how I sew mine. You can use any method you prefer. Next stitch here, next stitch there. Okay, I'm just gonna keep sewing uh, along till you I reach the this part where I start to uh, decrease. Okay, and I will meet you guys back in. Okay, now I reach this part here where I start to decrease and now I just gonna weave the end. I cut way too much tail, way too much yarn. <laughs> I just always like to make sure that I have enough yarn when I sewing. So now I just gonna Tie a knot. And hide the tail. And I'm just going to trim the tail. and then I gonna weave this in later so it look like on this side and then you're gonna sew the other side exactly the same whatever method you use for this side okay and then I just gonna go ahead and sew this real quick and I will be back after I sew the other side and then I weave all the ends that's what it look like this is the wrong side and now I gonna turn the right side out Yay! We done! I'm very happy how it turned out. And yeah, congratulations! You just have your new crop top. I hope you enjoy making this project. And if you do, please give it a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. And I also love to see your uh, half the top as well. Please feel free to text me on Instagram or Facebook. I will put all the link in the description below. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye-bye.